Hey, this is uh, Roland from East Marsh, Marsh Acres. And uh, so I just wanted to bring you up to date as to where we are. So we've cleared out the shed and uh, we still have some tar paper from when we uh, put the roof on the shed, uh, use it for some other purpose at some point in the future. Uh, there's some additional materials that are here, some of them from an old dining tent uh, that you've seen in previous versions. We still have the canvas, etc. Um, and then we put together a, uh, a shelving unit here and uh, we're going to use that to put materials in. We'll bring the green um, dining table, outside dining table, and bring that in here and that'll go in the middle area as well. Um, and then a number of uh, mostly gardening materials is what we're going to have in here, plus sports equipment um, that we don't use on a, on a regular basis. You know, so golf, um, those kinds of pieces. And we'll bring the other materials, things that we do use for construction and a variety of other tasks. Uh, so you can see some of those here. Um, the gas can, uh, the um, life jackets, uh, PFDs, tents, uh, that kind of stuff will go to the garage itself. Because Anyways. We found that, that we had the tents in here and uh, we opened it up or our kids opened it up in July and there was a whole bunch of ants in everything. A nest that of was ants. The tents. So we figured that we'll probably store them in the garage um, rather than getting an infestation in the shed here. So trying to be yeah, figure out where things will last longer. <laughs> yeah, prudent in, in terms the of the shed. placement. Yeah. Okay, that okay. brings you up to date, and uh, we'll you give you <laughs> give you updates as as we're going along. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, it's the end of the day, and I've run out of steam, uh, and probably sweat as well. Um, wanted to show you what we've been able to accomplish. So our grow lamp station is now mostly empty. Uh, the plastic on top of it is stuff that we use to drape around it. Um, the lights are sitting on top as well, and there are a couple of uh, extension cords and things there. Um, this is the uh, shelving unit that we brought over from the, um, the shed. And up on top, we've got camping equipment, or at least the camping equipment that we're not going to use in the next week or so. Uh, lighting, and then we've got uh, some hardware nails, oh yeah, and some other bits and pieces of uh, a number of things that I have to put away but haven't got the energy to do it today. Um, down below, uh, more hardware but uh, tools and nails. So that one bin there is filled with different, different shapes and sizes of nails. That's got tools in it, uh, the red bin, uh, red and black bin. Um, I'll be putting our uh, jerry cans over to the side. Uh, on the next one up, we've got uh, things for the bikes, uh, etc. Uh, beyond the um, helmets and things that are sitting on the bikes themselves. Um, we'll be putting the bikes away. Um, I need to get in uh, three racks and then I'm going to hang the older bikes from the ceiling. Uh, over here, I've got most of the tools uh, at least in some semblance of starting order uh, with most of the, the hand tools uh, hanging on the board um, and some of the power tools uh, underneath uh, and a little bit of uh, antifreeze um, for RV and for vehicles and then we've got a number of bits and pieces that I don't know what to do with yet uh, so there's caging there's one cage there's another cage over there somewhere. I don't know where it went. Um, there are Trisha's racks from her art. And uh, the um, kayaks, uh, when we're finished with them, will be hanging from these hooks that you see uh, up on the ceiling. Uh, we've been using the, uh, the pulley system for years uh, in a variety of different uh, locations and love the way that they actually work, work uh, to bring our, um, our kayaks out of the way. And then some of that is camping, uh, some of that is additional materials 
that I, again, don't know what to do with yet. So that's what the uh, garage looks like at this point in time. Um, I'm going to bring you out to the... Um, oh, yeah. So while I'm here, why don't I show you what we harvested from the garden yesterday. So these are carrots from our garden. And there's another pail of them and the cabbages and here are our red onions and our yellow onions i suspect that there are yellow onions underneath the red ones as well because there weren't that many red onions and somewhere are going to be our garlic not sure where they are and then there's going to be potatoes as well um so we're going to fill these containers i think or plastic containers with so there's paraphernalia here for wine making and for beer making that we didn't do this year. Um, oh, here are plastic containers that we're going to use to put uh, sand and the carrots in. And the potatoes are on the bottom here in these paper bags to keep them dry. And keep uh, any little pests away from them that may be here. Okay, so I'll take you out to the shed and show you what Trisha was uh, able to accomplish today. Okay, out by the shed. And here are the big uh, tarps that we'll put over top of the uh, garden uh, in just a little while, because we're almost to the point of having parts of it clear anyways. So it's ready. And in October, we have yet to put in the... Uh, the garlic but this is what Trish has been able to do so our golf clubs uh, all three sets because uh, Trish's golf turn uh, golf uh, club is finished for the year um, so we've got uh, additional seating over here some other plastic uh, shelving and things down at the bottom and then snowshoes and our uh, electrical connections to the uh, RV, um, hosing, some of it for uh, dishwasher, or sorry, washing machines, and some of it, uh, some of this hosing over here is for gas connections uh, when we take, take a tank to the, uh, to camping with us. Um, so it's looking quite a bit neater in here. Um, looks good. And we can now open the and close the, uh, the doors again. We had a number of weeds that were growing up in between. And let's see what Rachel's up to. She's harvesting some of our voluntary... Yeah. Like, I already picked the basket full, and so did you. And they're uh, gorgeous. Yeah. They taste so really nice. Good. This should have been, like, summer. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's because of that heat wave that we had. I don't know, but uh, we're getting the same kind of thing with the uh, hibiscus plants, right? Yeah. So they're blooming like crazy right now. So it might be the heat. Let ones go to the chickens. Do they actually eat them? I don't know. They were running. <laughs> They're not supposed to eat the leaves, right? Right. Oh, goodness. Like, there's so many, and there's more coming, too. So if we don't get any for us, we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. Well, we've had our frost warning. I don't see anything in the next week. So oh, 13, 15. My sleeping weather. I suspect that means that I should probably turn the 
furnace back on. Nah. Keep the pad warm at night. Well, it won't do anything during the day. Let's just bring it up to 21. 20. I haven't seen the rest of the place for a week either, so we might want to... Many more tomatoes coming. And it's not super fun picking because they haven't been Steak. strung up or anything. But this is all volunteer. What's crazy is we've never had tomatoes here. Like planted here. So it must have been in the soil or the compost or something. Yeah. So like this volunteer batch is pretty all right. Yeah, the mosquitoes are out. What? We have chickens jumping on each other. You know you're females! Look it. I think they are getting broody, hey? I don't know. I haven't seen them eating on eggs. Who was that? Who's the red one? Is that Ruby? Ruby was sitting on Billie Jean. And Billie Jean's been hanging out a lot in the uh, coop today looking for eggs to sit on, we think, anyways. Hey, ladies. Apparently she is. They love their dandelion leaves. So is the idea that the sunflower seeds are under here? Yep. We should probably start picking those then. Yeah, so now you've just left them open for the birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we want them for our birds. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to get picked over too. See, look, I see one eating one right now! We should get that big sucker su okay, sunflower. I feel like that one could have won a fair. Oh, yeah, they were blooming a lot when I picked them. Mm. Lots of green. Oh my goodness. Never wow. ends. Well, I guess we shouldn't complain. <laughs> Lots of things. Do you have anything to put the tomatoes in? Mm -hmm. 
Right. The nasturtiums are going crazy. Those are edible too, hey? Mm hmm. Put them in a the salad. Salad. Should have a tomato nasturtium salad. Ooh, more peppers. peppers! They're coming. There's tons of them, right? I saw them. Oh, wow. Nice. See them through here. The red ones are turning. Lots of tomatoes in there, too. See, this is a different kind again. These are really long romas as compared to the shorter ones that are on the other side. Mm -hmm. Look at how many. Well, the plants are not their prettiest, but they're still. Doing producing. their thing. Well, these ones are about them. Yeah. Yeah. There's only not a ton. But these ones over here are still going. Wow. What are you saying, Albs? What are you saying, puppers? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, delightful. Oh, uh, should we move the, uh, since when do we close that? Oh, it's getting cooler. You should have to also, you can go put them down the side. Yeah. 